Hi everyone, today I'll be talking about trade schools. Every day in my commute to work, I see a group of people practicing climbing telephone poles. Well, how do they get their job? It's nice having air conditioning during the LA summers in California. How do people get the jobs installing those systems? Well, you have one big resource that can provide you the skills to be able to do something for others, and it doesn't require a four-year degree, and that's trade schools. Trade schools provide training for trades or skilled professions where you make, build, or maintain something. Job fields like electricians, plumbers, welders, culinary arts are just a small sampling of the jobs you'll find at trade schools. And when you're finished with your training, you're ready to enter the workforce with a basic skill set. Now with that, welcome to my channel. I talk about jobs, education, careers, and more. Now let's get into the five things that I wish I knew about trade school when I was younger. Five. Trade schools provide training for careers that pay well. The stereotype that I was under as a kid in high school was that trade schools somehow were less prestigious and the pay wasn't really there. Well, it is not the case. If you want to see some of my videos on how this is completely wrong, check out my videos on plumbers, welders, wind turbine technicians, and so on. Some people enjoy sitting at a desk or in an office setting. There are people that like to build stuff, create stuff, and do stuff. When you follow the trade you want, when you're passionate in what you do, money will follow as you refine your skills and become more expert at your trade. I'm not saying an electrician is gonna make a million dollars a year, but I am saying that if you're passionate about your job, you will get better through your drive to do better and enjoy what you are doing. One of my relatives is a mechanic. He's been doing it for a couple of decades and loves what he does, and now makes a very comfortable living as a mechanic. The ultimate thing to know is Trade schools is an avenue to lead you to what you want to do. Four, one of the other assumptions I had as a kid with trade school was that only union jobs like mechanics or carpenters were at trade schools. Well, this can't be any more wrong. Yes, there are schools that help for training for electricians, carpenters, and various union positions. But there are also skills you can develop. Animation is offered in trade school. So are courses to train to be a chef. In one to two years, you can gain skills and education to come out being able to get a job as that brand new animator or that brand new chef. Not only are there a variety of jobs that you can train for, there are a variety of trade schools that focus on specialty areas. Some trade schools can be strictly something like automotive technology, but some can almost be a community college for trades. Then again, some community colleges offer a slew of certificates and degrees for trades. Three, in a trade school, you're going to learn a lot of on-the-job training long class. Yes, I was the kid who was naive, who thought I would be reading textbooks and learning how to do something in trade school in a book. Yes, there will be books. In many of the trade school jobs, these books will be manuals for future reference. It'll be a tool while you are doing something. A barber getting their license is going to have their exams that revolve around cutting hair and knowing what to do with varied hairlines, colics, and hair thickness. You're not going to read a book, then take a test and become a barber. You have to learn through doing. Two, for example, computers. You'll need some foundational knowledge of computers, even in trades. As a mechanic, many cars, if not all cars lately, are highly computerized. You plug your car into the computer, and the computer runs a diagnostic to spit out what's wrong with the car or what needs to be done. And another example is the electrician who comes to a home to make a repair. Things as simple as payments are highly computerized now through apps like Venmo. Additionally, if you're an electrician running your own business, knowledge of basic computer skills are needed to make sure your financial books are in order. Yet another example, the last time I got a haircut was at a place where you logged in through your phone and got your place in line. Then when I sat down in the chair, the hair cutter knew what my haircut was based on the notes in my profile from the last time I got a haircut. There will be shared knowledge in many trades. So don't think you're only gonna learn one skill. One, the last myth that I thought for trade schools was that you had to pay your way and it was a cash only program. A note here, I am not a financial person and will never be. This is my opinion and information from what I've learned. Now, I had never heard about financial aid for trade schools when I was younger. This is wrong very wrong. As I mentioned in previous videos, there are scholarship opportunities for trade schools. See my videos for the Micro Work Scholarship, as well as the Taco Bell Scholarship videos as just a sample of what you can get. Additionally, 
Many of my free college videos, such as my free college in Georgia or Oregon, discuss on how you can go to college for tuition free. Many of these programs specifically cover trade schools. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description below for the videos if you're curious. If you need loans, I strongly recommend you only take out what's needed. And realize that taking out a student loan is accumulating debt. So please, do your research to see what works for you. But if you're in a situation where you can't pay for school, there are ways to get financing to pay for that school. There you go, everyone. The five myths that I had mistakenly assumed when I was younger. I wish that folks hadn't spread myths and stereotypes about trade schools when I was in high school. There was a negative stereotype with it, and I just wish it wasn't propagated. This list would have opened my eyes a little bit more to the potential options and careers that were out there. And with that, thank you for listening. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. And if you enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing. A click of the notification bell will alert you when I release new videos. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Be safe, have a good one, bye.